Hey guys, TechnoMentor with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to buy more iPhone storage on your iPhone on the latest iOS version. So let's get started. So by default, your iPhone has a physical storage capability that you buy it first. So you can check that by going to your settings and then going to general iPhone storage. And this is the storage that's physically capable on your iPhone, which is 128 gig. And it shows you how much you have used and how much is left now let's say you run out of this storage or you used up all of them now in order to be able to save more stuff you need to get iCloud storage which is what we're going to show you how to get now in order to get this of course you need to make sure you have an Apple ID account and sign into it if you're not already signed in and once you have that you click on that and then after that you can click on iCloud here and it's going to let you manage your iCloud storage account. So as you can see here, you get about 5 gig free to use iCloud, meaning it's going to be saved on Apple's server so you can access it anywhere with the same Apple ID. Now, in order to manage that, we click on Manage Account, and then we need to go ahead and click on Change Storage. And if we click on Change, this is where you can buy more iPhone storage besides that local storage that you have so apple offers these plans on a monthly basis so from 5 gig is the free one but if you wanted to get 50 gig more on top of the one that you have you can pay 99 cents a month if you want 200 gig you're paying 299 and then two terabyte or about 2000 about 2000 gigs or more you're going to pay two terabytes and then six is over or six thousand gigs and then over 12,000 gigs as well as you can see here that's the most currently you can get so all you'll do is of course select any of these options here if you wanted to go maybe let's say we want to do two terabyte like we pay 9.99 we simply click on upgrade now and what will happen is it's going to ask you for your billing information already associated with your account and then you know, hit subscribe every month you'll be charged that but now you have two terabyte of storage that you can essentially go ahead and save everything from backup to your photos which most of the time is a lot your messages everything will be saved and you don't have to worry about running out of space on your iphone and that's how you do it and i hope this video was helpful if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices see you guys next time